Hi everyone, I'm Olivia. I'm the Education and Outreach Manager at Philadelphia's Magic Gardens. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make some creatures, monsters, whatever you can imagine out of some recyclables. So uh, I have two examples to show you here, but you can really make whatever you want. Um, and I'm sure if you're home with kids, they may have lots of ideas. Uh, so one of the things that you can make uh, is out of a soup can or something like this. Uh, we made this little creature. So just adding you know, a face, maybe legs, arms, a little bit of hair on here. And this is really nice because it's still sort of functional. So you could put things in the top here um, and use it as a container for other things. Um, you could also just play with it as a little creature. Um, and a lot of the stuff that we use is just sort of scraps of things. Uh, you know, we use googly eyes, which are really great, but um, you might not have googly eyes at home. You could just make a circle, trace any kind of thing that's a circle, and put a little black dot inside, and they're gonna be just as good as googly eyes. Um, the other thing I have here is a stegosaurus that I made. This was something that my son really wanted a stegosaurus, so I was thinking, how can we make this? Kind of digging through the recycling bin, looking for things that looked sort of stegosaurus-like. Um, so we took this orange juice container and a little uh, pudding cup and stuck it on the end to be the nose. And then, um, you know, I did have some craft supplies at home. Of course, that's what I do. Um, but you could use just basic cardboard that you have from a cereal box or cracker box or something like that, that you're maybe coloring or painting to make the the little spikes here and the tail, legs. Uh, cardboard works great for a lot of those kinds of things. And um, adhesive, you could use lots of different things. So you may not have hot glue, which is what I used here, but lots of kinds of tape, scotch tape, masking tape, painter's tape would all work really well to um, add these things on. We got a little face here on the front um, and you could also just draw in here so you could make this as fancy or as easy as you want it to be and another great thing to do when you're trying to figure this out you know maybe your your kids like I really want to make this thing and you're like I have no idea what that looks like uh, just google it there's gonna be tons of pictures and you can sort of go off of that and they're probably gonna be happy with however it turns out so think a lot about the process of making it uh, and maybe not so much the product. Uh, so hope you guys have fun making and be safe and well and we'll see you soon.